What is up fam, Water Grass here and welcome to a very special Pokemon TCG opening. We have another part of the Diamond and Pearl base set packs. We got five more packs to open up, two Diagos, two Lucarios, and one Palkia. Palkia being my favorite legendary Pokemon of all time. Lots of cool stuff in the first two parts. If you have not checked them out, definitely go do so. Um, obviously you can find them on my channel. If you want to hit subscribe while you're there, you can. Um, so let's open up these five packs right here. We'll start things off with a Dialga. Now, level X's are a thing in these Diamond and Pearl sets, as well as some beautiful, beautiful hollows. Now, they are a bit harder to pull in early Diamond and Pearl sets, like Diamond and Pearl Base Set, Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders, and Diamond and Pearl, uh, I think Mysterious Treasures was a bit hard to pull stuff, too. So, um, no guarantee on anything, which is what I kind of like about these packs. we got a Fighting Energy. It's uh, Diamond and Pearl Base Set's one of my favorite sets of all time. Definitely in the top five, not in the top three. So... <laughs> Awesome, awesome set. The artwork is beautiful. Look at that Rhyhorn reverse. Love how the shine is throughout the entire card. That is awesome. And the rare is a Machamp, which we've already seen, but that's still pretty cool. Our next pack right here is another Dialga pack. Let's see what we can get from it. All right, all right, all right. So we see a lightning energy over there. One, two, three, one, two. Still looking for those level X's, hoping that maybe Torterra, Empoleon, or Infernape make an appearance. We have a lightning energy or electric energy. We got Bonzi, Stonky, Combi, Bidoof. Uh oh, uh oh. What does that mean? <laughs> we got a Rhydon, a Cherum. Energy switch reverse is a Combi. Very, very cool. And the rare is a Metacham, regular rare. So there we go, right there. Um, three more packs to go. Now, I don't think these packs are weighed because we did pull pretty good stuff in the first part at least, but let's find out. I don't know. We'll find out as we continue opening up these packs because the uh, cool opening or it could be the worst opening ever. You never know, but we start things off with a Cleffa, a Metatite, Glam Meow, Shinx, a Metal Energy, Seeking. Let's go to that Goldeen artwork we saw earlier. That is a cool card. We got Staravia in a flock right there. We got Professor Rowan. Speaking of Seeking, there it is in reverse form. So that is pretty cool. And the rare is... Oh, baby! <laughs> Just talking about these packs uh, possibly seem a little bit suspicious, but clearly that's not the case because there is an Empoleon level X. A absolutely beautiful, beautiful card. Now, it's not Torterra level X that we were looking for, but Badoof showed up, blessed these packs, and there is the Empoleon level X. One of three from this set. Very, very cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome pull. Mid condition, very happy to pull that. So, got two more packs to go for this part, including a Lucario pack, and then last but not least, a Palkia pack. So, very, very cool. Ah, that makes me feel better. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two. All right, see what we get from this pack right here. We start things off with a Glam Meow. Charm, pose. It's gonna charm you, then it's gonna pose. We've got Skorupi, Metatite, Meryl. See that? Love it when they have more than one Pokemon in a card art. Double full heals if one wasn't enough. We got Unknown A, a Grotto. Very cool. Grotto, Grotto. You say tomato, I say tomato. Reverse is a Speed Stadium. Stay in school, kids. And the rare is an Azumarill regular rare. Very cool. Very cool. So back to back water ties with the Empoleon level X and then the Azumarill regular rare. Next uh, next pack, we have a Palkia pack. Let's see what we get from this Palkia pack. Like I was saying, hollows and level X's are incredibly hard to pull in these first early Diamond and Pearl sets. So um, the pull down Empoleon level X is awesome. We got a Rhyhorn. That's Starly. Sneasel. Grass energy, there we go. An Azuril, Warp Point, an Elekid, Primplup. Reverse is a Ponyta. I know it's not the shiny Ponyta. The shiny Ponyta is in Diamond and Pearl, or Platinum Arceus, actually. So, there we go. Very cool card, though. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. And the rare is a Roserade Hollow. Wow, what a beautiful card. I was saying earlier in one of the other parts when we pulled a, another hollow that uh, one of the reasons why I love Diamond and Pearl sets so much is the hollows just look magnificent. You can see the hollow throughout the entire card and you can actually really see that in this Roserade right here. So that is a beautiful, beautiful hollow to pull. We went back to back with, the, well not back to back, but we had that water and grass connection 
That's the, that's, that's, the, that's the phrase we were looking for right there. <laughs> Water and Grass Connection with the Empoleon Level X and this Roserade Hollow. So awesome, awesome pulls from this part. We still have five more packs to go. We will see what we get from those five packs. But very, very cool. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the final part. And it breaks my heart saying that. I wish I could just open these packs up forever. But the final part. If you enjoyed this part, remember 300 likes is the goal. Let us try and get there, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great night. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. This is Water and Grass, and I am out. Later. Peace.